about four years ago, I had a procedure at OrthoCare on my cervical spine for chronic pain, which ended up permanently injuring me. So I just wanted to give a little bit of update of what's happened in those four years and how I've tried to treat it and what some of the uncurable stuff uh, has plagued me since then and left me crippled. So I just wanted to start off with uh, the one positive thing that has happened is I had a spinal cord stimulator. So, so this isn't something I ever thought would happen in my life. You know, it's a scary prospect, but this is what I got this year after a lot of uh, consultation and speaking with doctors just seemed to be the only thing left they wanted to try on me. And luckily this is one thing that slightly helped. Uh, it was the only reason I, uh, I, I got the spinal cord stimulator is because it was it. It was, it was either that or, you know, that was the end of me. I was in too much pain to even sit in a chair. So now I could sit in a chair for uh, short periods of durations or if I'm lucky, I'll have enough strength to go out for like a little bit. But I can't, there's no possible way for me living a normal life or ever working outside of my house. I'm not even really capable of working at my house, at my own desk. So I just want to, you know, say what this is one thing that's slightly helped even. I've had all the other injection procedures. I've had the peripheral nerve block. I've had uh, the steroid in injection, the trigger points, the Botox, all the conservative therapy. That, um, yeah, I went through like rehab there. I've tried a bunch of different pain drugs and those were a horrible experiment. Um, like the muscle relaxers was it did not take away the pain. It made my muscles a little looser, but it almost amplified the pain. So I just wanted to kind of cover what some of the, the pain symptoms are because they're unusual and they're not something to be researched. It's not something, or at least the doctors can't figure it out. I've been to a bunch of neurosurgeons, you know, you can consider like the best doctors in our country and they no one can figure out what's wrong with me after I got injured. So some of the symptoms I have um, are quite strange because they're not, um, when I tell people about the procedure I had at OrthoCare, they just basically say I shouldn't have had it, uh, which unfortunately isn't very helpful. And uh, I wish I could have not had it. Uh, there's, I could have a show a picture of me and what, like, uh, what some of this looks like. So my right shoulder here is jacked up and pulling. So I had mild symptoms of this before, which is my chronic pain, but it was nothing like this. It was, uh, so after the procedure at OrthoCare four years ago, it took me about a year to be able to use my right arm again. Um, it was so bad to begin with, like I couldn't even write. Um, I, then I slowly progressed to being able to like do things like it was so bad that like I couldn't even make food right-handed you know so I'm mean, um when I tell doctors about my shoulder and all this stuff and where it's coming from they just unfortunately can't figure it out and this is a front picture you can see this is my uh, right side here so this is where the bad injection was that initially messed me up during the procedure and um all those the whole story about that's in a previous video the first injection hit me and it went through something I shouldn't have. It was, it felt thick, like it punctured something. And I started involuntarily spasm and uh, which Ron Hansen left out of the procedure notes and claims, you know, he claims none of this happened now. And uh, then he ended up uh, discarding all the written notes that I told him before and says I didn't tell about any of this stuff. So he's just lying about that. Uh, so there's no evidence of that, unfortunately. So in my uh, right SCM here is completely uh, contracted, so it's um, always spasming now 24-7, which it did not do before. It was tight before. That's one of the reasons why I went in, and those were in the notes. Uh, so the initial procedure was to, it was to break apart scar tissue, which is for the hydrodissection, and to tighten 
uh, the ligaments of the cervical spine that fix the curvature. And that's what I went in for. But now everything is uh, far, far worse than it ever could be and have a lot more symptoms. And one of the other things that got worse over time is there was new symptoms that I didn't think were even possible. Like when I had chronic pain and went in for the procedure, you know, I thought I was in pain. That's why I went in and paid so much money. Uh, I had no idea that the amount of pain I could possibly be in, though. You know, too much pain to even keep your head up and just there's nothing really that can help you. So like not even taking like hydrocodone or, I mean, Advil's not even, that's like a zero help at that point. So, I mean, it's, um, and there's specific things I couldn't do. Like I couldn't even put my head into extension um, until after the spinal cord stimulator, the muscles were that tight and inflamed. And um, it's one thing my neck does now, which it didn't before too, is it's like they call it the crepitus stuff or the, you know, uh, all the popping of when you move your head. Like I basically still can't move my head. And uh, it's, uh, it's just extremely tight and always inflamed. And um, it's just completely locked up. And my chiropractor has been able to move it somewhat back. But whatever happened in the procedure completely locked my neck. Like it's just completely holding on to something. Um, so so I mean, it's a... Uh, a lot of new injuries to what wasn't there before. So I went in for chronic pain and got excessive damage from the procedure. These are all, all the items and injections I had at the procedure at OrthCare. I just wanted to show exactly what I had there and how much it costs. So this is, you know, I don't, I sh don't think I should have to pay for something that crippled me. That's why I want to hold him accountable to it, but he just backed out even though he said he would pay for it. And, you know, essentially what he did to me is, you know, when he slashed the tires on a car and that car veers off the road, and, you know, the driver didn't drive off the road. You know, the person who slashed the tires caused that. That's what he did to me. He basically, the procedure uh, left me in a position to basically just suffer and eventually it's going to lead to my early death. It's just... You know, there's, it was all caused by Ron Hansen. That's what he did to me. And, you know, I just wanted to make it public that, you know, before the procedure, you know, I really liked everything that was going on for my life. And I just wanted to get rid of chronic pain. And Ron Hansen took everything away from me. So I just wanted to, you know, make it, make it known that uh, this actually did happen. And for other people, when that happens to them, you know, to speak out. Otherwise, these doctors will just lie about them and pretend this stuff never happened.